Once known as the Gateway of Florida, the Gateway to Florida, I should say, thousands of passengers and hundreds of trains pass through the Jacksonville Terminal every day, the largest railroad station in the South. The Prime Osborne is the station, and there's no more trains or passengers, and what's left of the station has been converted into the Prime Osborne Convention Center. But the tracks and tunnels that just once hummed with activity still exist. And our Taylor Levesque is on your side tonight, investigating a hidden piece of Jacksonville history. Buried underneath this pile of vegetation and debris is the entrance to the Jacksonville Terminal pedestrian tunnels. Locked in time, its brick walled entrance gives a sneak peek of what's inside. So when you make it through, you go through the tunnel or through the hole, you come onto this big uh, hallway made of brick. In 2019, David Bullitt with Abandoned Florida, a collection of history of abandoned places around the state, captured these photos of what's inside. Tunnels flooded with three to four feet of water. When you go down there, it's pitch black. So you have to crawl through that. And you go to the end and it opens up this larger room with different pathways on the left and right hand side, two on each side. This larger room is flooded and can't even see an inch below the water's uh, surface, but you can feel there's brick and glass and pieces of metal down on the uh, floor. As early as the 1890s, five railroad companies traveled through Jacksonville. This is what the railroad looked like. So when this is a train station, at, at its height, over 20,000 people came in uh, per day. Over 200 trains came in through uh, this particular terminal. With more than 30 tracks, Ennis Davis with Community Planning Collaborative says passengers use the tunnels to get from the station to the platform safely without crossing the tracks. The tunnel system itself, that's really a relic of a different Jacksonville, a Jacksonville that was walkable, a Jacksonville a downtown that was dense and vibrant. The train stopped running in 1974. Travel declined and more people had cars. People began to fly more than use rail. Train service relocated and the Jacksonville Terminal sat abandoned until the 1980s and was renovated into the Prime Osborne. Most tracks were removed and all that's left are remains of the passenger platforms. Those two concrete areas that you see, those rectangles, are the former passenger platforms. And the tunnel system, buried intact and forgotten underground. If you plan to see it for yourself, be warned, this is private property. Jacksonville's being built around this piece of history. Would you ever think that these tunnels could ever be used again, if they're still here? Of course, there's always been discussion uh, about bringing Amtrak back to downtown. It makes total perfect sense. So as we continue to have these conversations about uh, what to do with downtown, how you bring downtown back to life, uh, mass transit is a, should be a part of that conversation. And luckily, we're blessed to have assets that other cities and communities don't have, one being our large rail passenger system and this tunnel system that is still out here today. So if we can find a way to return passenger rail back to downtown, those may be opportunities to revitalize this section of La Villa, but also use some of the past, including the tunnel system, to connect um, people to a way of travel that um, they once did, you know, 50 years ago. Taylor, I always love hearing about this Jacksonville history. So I know you actually mm -hmm. spoke with the man who used to use those tunnels to get around. Yeah, he was able to show me a map and he could remember very vividly the tunnel that you went in. There were hallways that you would take to get to the different platforms. It was super interesting mm -hmm. just to hear from him and how that was so long ago when he was a kid that he was able to travel and that he still remembered. And if he were to able to go yeah. down there, if he had the opportunity, uh, he said he would know exactly where he was going. He so. would know exactly cool. where he's going, even what it looks yeah. like now, even with exactly. all that water. I mean, hey, it's interesting. All right. Ta interesting. It is Taylor Levesque on your side tonight. Thank you, Taylor.